Hey guys, it's Brit, and today I'm going to be reviewing this savage song by V. Schwab. Okay, so I listened to this book on Audible, which I will link below. I really enjoyed listening to the narrator. I can't remember her name right now, and I'm not sponsored by Audible or anything. I just really enjoy auto audiobooks, so a lot of my reviews are probably from audiobooks and my physical copy of this book is in the mail which attests to how much I enjoyed this book. I gave this book 3.5 stars which probably doesn't seem like that high of a rating but I really did enjoy this book. It just had some major flaws that I couldn't look past and so that contributed to my lower rating and I will discuss those issues that I had later on in the video where it becomes kind of more spoiler territory. This first half of the video will be spoiler free and I will tell you when we get into spoilers. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about this book is it is a dual point of view. We start out with our main character, Kate, who is a human, and she is the leader daughter of the city that this takes place in, and the city is named Varity. And the second point of view is from a male's perspective, and his name is August Flynn. The main conflict of this book is its Varity is divided between the humans and the monsters. And as I said before, this is a dual ology. And Kate is human, while our other main protagonist, August, is a monster. And these two meet at school and conflict arises when main plot begins to take place, but that is a spoiler and I would rather talk about that later on in the video. Okay, so the pros of this book were really good. The, the world, I thought, was so unique. V.E. Schwab creates beautiful, beautiful worlds. Beautiful worlds. Monsters are created when people commit heinous crimes like murder and August is a monster. He is specifically a Sunai, which means that he takes the souls of humans with music. Yeah, that has been something that I have never seen in a book and I loved it. I love music. I don't know if you can see my tattoo, but it is the word love with a bass clef on the L and in the center is a treble clef. So, anyway, the humans want to kill the monsters, but the monsters want to live. And August lives with his quote-unquote family. He has a dad and three mom and two siblings. They are not actually biologically related because monsters are created, they are not born. But Leo, the eldest, is kind of like a, a cop for the monsters. Well, the monsters are disguised, the Sunai are disguised as human. They don't take their true form 
until it comes time to take the soul of another human being, or at least that's what, to my knowledge, from what I remember, that is how it works. And August uses a violin as a form of his taking souls. Each of the siblings have a different method. I don't remember Leo's, but I know his sister Elsa uses her voice. And Kate, going back to Kate, she is the daughter of Callum Harker, and he is kind of, he's got leverage over the city. He takes the monsters and he essentially turns them into slaves. He marks them and he makes them work for him in this company. And Kate is terrified of monsters. She doesn't want anything to do with them. And when she meets August, he is obviously in disguise. He is not using his real name. He is going by Freddy at school. And he is going to school to essentially spy on Kate. And these two are not friends. But something happens at school where they form, where they, they need each other. And this book doesn't have any romance whatsoever, which I thought was really refreshing, especially for YA. I'm not a big fan of romance novels. I don't mind if there are romantic elements in stories, but I don't want that to be the entire premise of the story. If you see me looking down, that's because I have notes. Okay. I am going... That is the main plot. It's monsters versus humans. And something happens that creates this huge blowout. And this book is a duology. It's going to have two books. I We don't know when the second book is coming out, but that is it for the spoiler-free section of this video. And if you don't mind spoilers, continue watching. But if you, if you don't want to be spoiled, come back. Come back. I'll give you a moment. I've warned you. I've warned you. Okay. Bye. If you're still here, welcome back. If you... Okay. So the main issue I had with this book was that I thought it was really... Uh, the characters fell really flat. I felt like I didn't really know them, which caused my ratings to decrease, because while they are our main characters, we don't know a lot about them, and maybe Victoria is saving that for the next book, but August came across as very... He just wanted to be human, pretty much. And that was it. We know that he doesn't like taking souls. We know that he doesn't like being a monster. But that's about it. And Kate suffers from... Uh, hmm, how should I word this? Kate is that... tough, edgy girl. She's not manic pixie dream girl, but she just fell flat. Her entire character was wanting to be like her father, 
and her father is this really, really terrible person. Her mother wanted to escape from her father for a reason, and here she is wanting to go back. I understand the need to want to be with your family, but she knew that he was not a good person, and she pursued a relationship, a familial relationship with him anyway. That was my main issue. My second issue was I thought that Leo was really, really predictable. I predicted that plot twist from the very beginning. I thought she could have done a lot more with Leo. And I think that that plot point could have been introduced a lot earlier and the, the, the school parts wouldn't have dragged so much if she had introduced that earlier on. <sighs> oh, I didn't know anything about them. The action sequences were really well done. Good job. Ah, la la la. I felt like this didn't have to be a duology. I felt like it could have been a standalone, but I will be purchasing the next book purely because I love the world and I hope that Victoria develops the characters just a little bit more. And with that, I'm gonna go guys. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.